Good morning. <laughs> it's uh, it's three minutes before noon, so it's still a good morning. It still counts. Uh, another day of catching up on sleep, and it was glorious. I don't know what I'm doing today. I hope it's interesting for your sake, mostly. And I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video. I'm sorry, it really wasn't a vlog, but it was kind of fun to put together. And I love my sister, and she had this idea. Anyway, I'm going to figure out something to do. I did have plans this evening, but now they're not going to happen. So different plans. All the places you'll go. I don't know if you can see that, but... I got it at a thrift store for 25 cents. That's all it costs for inspiration these days. That's nice to know, actually. I had some plans tonight. Now I don't. So, <laughs> this means that today is going to be all the more interesting because I was like, you know what? At least I don't do, at least if I don't do anything during the day, there's going to be something happening in the evening and I can vlog about it. And really, all I need is anywhere from five to seven minutes. So I've got some thinking to do. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. I got it, I got it, okay, don't worry. I may have a friend coming over this evening, I might not, but I finally decided today with my day, I'm gonna make some chili. It's a little cold outside, I, mm, I love chili. I'm gonna go to the 99 cent store, so let's go. Oh, also, do you like like all the colors that I'm wearing? I feel like there's no way to be grumpy in an outfit like this. Let's go. Just got back from the 99 cent store. This is proof that you can survive out in LA. I mean, the rent is always going to be high. I got all of this from the 99 cent store for eleven eighty-seven. dollars Bunch of crunch, oranges, pepper. Look at all of this. That's a lot of food for eleven eighty-seven. dollars Let's make some chili. Things that bother you never bother me. I feel happy and fine. Ha -ha! Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight, having a wonderful time. Go so ahead and cut two pasilla peppers or uh, poblano peppers, that's what they're called. Then uh, one green pepper and this nas red onion pot. Already I put some tomatoes and I got two cans of tomato sauce. I'm going to cut all these vegetables and I'm going to put them in first and let them simmer for a little while. The best thing about chili is that it's just all about cooking down everything. Alright, so because you're going to be cooking this down, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put another... You're going to want to put some water in it because you'll see it's cooking. It's cooking, cooking, bubbling, bubbling. It's going to have a lot of steam coming off. I've got um, all the vegetables sort of percolating and I just have it on a simmer. I don't have... It's not... Oops. There we go. That's better. Hmm, very yellow light. The, the earlier you put them in, the spicier whatever you're making is going to be. I bought some jalapenos. And I have a friend coming over, so I don't know if they really like their stuff really, really spicy. So I'm going to add that in closer to the end. I put a little bit of cayenne in it, but again, that's because I like things spicy. I probably put about a fourth of a teaspoon in. Not very much at all, especially with how much I'm making. A half of a teaspoon of ground pepper. Chili powder, I probably put in a, a teaspoon. Cumin, I added a lot just because I like cumin, so I probably added half of a tablespoon for that. You can play with these spices, and again, just put it on simmer. Let this simmer for about a half an hour. It's been going for about a half an hour, and of course, I leave it covered, so I just took the lid off. So it's been simmering, it smells so good. I have three cans of beans, of course the garbanzo, the kidney, and pinto beans. If you like black beans, you can add black beans. I just decided to go with this, so it doesn't really make a difference. It's completely up to you whether you want to drain these cans or not. I'm going to drain them because I like how thick this is and I don't want to thin it down anymore. Look how nice that looks. Everything is like cooked down. All of those vegetables are really, really tender so it'll be great. All right, and I even think leaving the skins on the aromas uh, were, that was okay. Here it is with all of those beans in it. It's really pretty. It's just got so much color. So now I'm bringing it back up to a boil and then I'm gonna bring it down back, back down to a simmer. So I'm on full heat at the moment and then I'm going to bring it down so that it just simmers and leave it to simmer for a little while. You may have gotten to the end of this video and you were like, you were filled with questions. Sarah, how did it turn out? Sarah, did your friend come over? All I have to say is this. Yes, she came over and it was glorious. And I'm eating the last serving for breakfast. See you tomorrow.
Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight, having a wonderful time. 